Today, we at Chopper are excited to announce the Why Stop Here video series. Most tutorials on biotech tools simply introduce the tool and conclude the video. But in Chopper, you can do so much more. In this series, we will explore many groundbreaking tools, starting with FoldSeq, an extremely fast protein structure search tool. Structural biology is experiencing a data deluge. AI methods like AlphaFold are churning out millions of protein structures. However, analyzing these massive datasets presents a significant challenge. There are many proteins that are structurally alike, but have low sequence identity, which could be overlooked by traditional methods like BLAST. Compared to DALI or TM-Align, FoldSeq decreases computation times by four to five orders of magnitude. But how is it so fast? It breaks down protein structures into simplified sequences called the 3DI representation that captures the key interactions between amino acids. Rather than directly comparing two protein structures to each other, FoldSeq first converts each structure to its 3DI representation. It then compares the representations with each other, dramatically increasing the search speed. Now let's check out how to use FoldSeq in Chopper. First, we will double-click on the input node and upload our protein sequence. Because FoldSeq requires a structure as input, we will first run AlphaFold to predict our protein's tertiary structure. Running AlphaFold is as simple as connecting it to the input node and clicking Run. Once the AlphaFold node has turned green, it means it has finished predicting the structure. We can check out the prediction by double-clicking on AlphaFold. Chopper has an inbuilt 3D structure viewer. In the viewer, we highlight the Per Residue Model Confidence Score, PLDDT, produced by AlphaFold. Now that we have predicted the structure, we can run FoldSeq. In this case, we want AlphaFold's output to be used as input to FoldSeq, so we will connect FoldSeq to AlphaFold. By double-clicking on FoldSeq, we can see its different parameters, especially the alignment type parameter. By using Chopper, you can focus on interpreting the results and let us handle the computation. We present FoldSeq search results in a table that includes the taxonomy, e-value, and sequence identity, among others. The first result is our input sequence, and all other results have low sequence identity. These sequences are from different organisms with very similar structures. Let's compare the structure of the trypanosoma sequence, which has a sequence identity of 0.2. To compare results side by side, we turn on the Compare toggle and select both FoldSeq and AlphaFold. On the right, we have the input structure from AlphaFold, and on the left, let's choose the trypanosoma structure. Visually, the structures are very similar. Such a sequence would have been missed if we were to depend only on sequence identity. But why stop here? Let's use the results from FoldSeq to create a phylogenetic tree. We will use MAFT to align the sequences and FAST tree to create the tree. Again, to run a tool, simply click on it in the left panel and connect it to its parent node. Chopper has its custom inbuilt alignment viewer using which we can analyze MAFT's results. It looks like a lot of gaps were added to align the result sequences of FoldSeq. This is not surprising as the overall sequence identity was quite low. The length of the MSA is more than three times that of the input sequence. Let's move on to the results of FastTree. Because FastTree is a maximum likelihood-based method, we can use the edge length for further analysis. Using Chopper in a matter of minutes, we created a phylogenetic tree of structure homologs. Thank you for following along and stay tuned for more videos in this series where we will discuss tools like DiffDoc, AlphaFold, and many more.